Hello! Welcome to the first episode of a series in which I'll create a simple game with JavaScript. I've set up a React component that will create an instance of my game class and reload it on any change. The effect of this series will be similar to an old amazing game called IC Tower. Let's save the container in the class. And now let's create the canvas. Canvas is a DOM element that can be used in HTML5. It provides us the so-called context, which is an API for drawing on a canvas element. Let's style the canvas element so it would fill the whole space of process window. The width, W, and the height, H, will be defined in a moment. Now let's add the canvas to the container. Let's give it some background so we could see it. And so it appears. But the size is wrong because W and the H is missing. So let's fix it. As you can see another canvas was added and the old one remained. So we need to improve the clear method. And now refresh the page to get rid of all the instances. Something's wrong now. Let's take a look at the console. The container doesn't have proper height. So for now let's base the canvas dimensions on the size of the window. And we'll give it a position absolute to get rid of a small scroll bar. Now it's good, so let's take care of a simple loop and draw in the first element. I'll use request animation frame. It's a native method available in most browsers and something like set interval but more optimized and by default it runs 60 times per second. We need to save the rough ID that is returned by request animation frame so that will be able to cancel the animation on clear. The frame time is the actual precise timestamp. So the method run will call a method step for the first time and then the step will call itself again after processing different operations. And as I said, we use RAV ID to cancel animation frame on clear. For now we won't care about the frame time, but later we'll need to fix it. In this episode I'll just use uh, a square object with update and draw uh, so that you could see an example of how the loop works. So the square update will just make it fall to the bottom edge of our window. So in this if here we need to check if the bottom side of the square is going outside of the bottom edge of the window. And so when it does then we reset its position to exactly touch the edge of the window. It's important to notice that in square update that this is not the game's instance anymore. That's why I've created the game variable here. And now let's draw the square. The fill rect method is perfect for that. Let's position it horizontally in the middle of the window. The 20 here is a half of square size and it shouldn't be hard coded, so we'll fix it later. So we also need to clear the screen on every step. And it still looks weird. That's because I need to set the width and height properties on canvas so they would match its DOM element dimensions. And now it's fine. See you in the next episode.